Valentine's Day means so much to so many people, but for an Albertville dancer, the day is an anniversary. That's because it brought her a new beginning after her dreams were nearly shattered. Fox 9's Scott Wasserman shows us why this 16-year-old has the heart of a champion. Giving to a hope of so much more. Take your time. Good. For every time for the Make it big. With grace and style, Tori Payone was born to dance. It's my passion, it's my dream, it's my love. The 16-year-old has a competitive nature that drives her to be the best. It's been my life since I was little. Tori started dancing at the age of three. I just loved it, I love coming to dance. I'd, you know, get ready super early just to come to dance and my mom would be like, hey, you still have two hours, you need to settle down. Nothing could hold Tori down, even a diagnosis of asthma at the age of five. But at 12 years old, the condition peaked. You know, I'd lay on the ground 30 seconds into a dance. I'd lay on the ground, couldn't breathe. So Tori went to an asthma specialist where she received surprising news. He was like, um, I don't think you have asthma. Then at Children's Hospitals of Minnesota, the news went from surprising to shocking. I started bawling, tears running everywhere. There you go. Doctors diagnosed Tori with a rare form of congenital heart disease, sometimes seen in young athletes who die during competition. Most of the time the patients are asymptomatic and the death occurs just out of the blue, usually associated with vigorous exercise. For fears Tori could lose her life at any moment, doctors told her to stop dancing immediately. When I heard the words, you can't dance, <laughs> after they told me, yep, you need to have heart surgery, that you can't dance from now until who knows how long, I almost fell to my knees because I couldn't dance. So this is Tori's heart. Dr. David Overman says Tori's condition is called anomalous aortic origin of the coronary artery, meaning she's at risk for blood flow, not getting down the coronary artery. And when she exercises, that little channel is what's at risk to get shut off or pinched. So if this opening closes when she's exercising, what happens? Then she has a massive heart attack and presumably sudden death resulting from that. So eight days after her diagnosis, on Valentine's Day 2006, Tori underwent open heart surgery to correct the problem. I knew my dream was in jeopardy, and that's really hard to comprehend, especially when you're 12. But doctors were hopeful, saying she could start dancing lightly four weeks after surgery. At what level remained to be seen. When that four week mark hit, I was like, okay, I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> and she was. <laughs> Taking the stage by storm, competing in the Minnesota Dance Contest just five weeks after going under the knife. You don't really know what something means to you until it's almost gone. And five months after learning about her condition, Tori competed in nationals. It was a Hollywood ending as she won the competition. It was kind of like surreal because you nobody thinks that somebody that had surgery is going to be back and winning nationals that year. You know, nobody thought I was going to be back at all. Is it amazing to see Tori at the level she is, even with heart surgery four years ago? Um, yeah, I mean, that's quite an accomplishment for a young lady like that. Boom, and hit, and ah, there you go. Now, four years later, the three-time national champion is working harder than ever at her Maple Grove Studios, dancing on Broadway. Besides her solo work, she dances with a group of hand-selected girls in team competition. And with every move, there is no twisting of words when thinking about the past and what could have happened if doctors hadn't diagnosed her condition. I'd probably be dead. So on every anniversary, Happy Heart Day, Tori. Tori celebrates Valentine's Day in her own unique way. My heartbeat is the song of my soul and the rhythm to my step. I'm so, I love it. <laughs> Where once the holiday meant just a card and a kiss, it now tops the holiday lists, even birthdays. It's a, kind of a celebration of like a new beginning and a new life. That was better. A life where she's giving back. Your left leg's getting up, but this right one's like down here. Teaching and lending her experience in life lessons to young ladies aspiring 
to be just like her. If you really want it, you will get your dream. Stay lifted, elbows, elbows, elbows. Tori Payone, a dancer with the heart of a champion. There you go, good. It's kind of a good feeling because you proved everybody wrong and you proved everyone that, you know what, if you set your mind to something and you know you want to do it, you're going to get through it. Good, now we need an exit. <laughs> The future is certainly bright for Tori as she plans on trying out for So You Think You Can Dance when she turns 18. Then she plans on moving to L.A. to become a professional dancer. It is stories like Tori's that drove children's hospitals in Minnesota to build the first pediatric cardiac intensive care unit and cardiovascular center in the upper Midwest. For more on the center, just go to MyFox9.com. It opens in six weeks. Scott Wasserman, Fox 9 News. Beautiful. Isn't that something? Amazing. So good. We'll probably be seeing her again here on Fox Night if she makes it to So You Think You Can Dance. You know it.